once again, this is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Vert Zenet Cast, the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. We have a very special edition this week. We're going to be uh, doing a review and a demonstration of the Ericom Web Connect software. And I really am excited about this software for a lot of reasons. But in order to kind of preface this, I did want to explain that this demo is being done here at home, <laughs> not at work. I'm using VPN to connect into work to get access to the uh, Ericom server that I created there under VMware. So in order to fully explain all of this and show you how virtual all this is, the server is a Windows 2003 server virtualized under vSphere 5 okay then I am connecting with my Linux Fedora 16 laptop via VPN to work then I'm running underneath that Linux laptop a uh, session of the um, VirtualBox hypervisor then on top of that hypervisor, I'm running Windows 7 Thin PC, Microsoft's new Thin PC uh, version that they made specifically for virtual environments. So did you get all that? <laughs> Basically, what we're doing is running that Thin PC, Windows 7 Thin PC, on VirtualBox, on top of Linux, VPN into work, and they're connecting to the Aircom server. Okay, we have all that straight. I know that's very technical, but you need to understand all that before you see this demo. So let's go into it right now, showing us Ericom's Web Connect Power Term software. Let's go into Internet Explorer. What I want to demo for you today is Ericom Power Term Web Connect. Now, this is a PC that Ericom has never run on before. So I'm going to launch the application zone. And notice it says the website wants to install the following add-on, PT Downloader from Ericon. So we're going to click Install. Let it install the software. Now notice that it automatically sensed the need for the software. And it's now prompting me, of course, and installing it and just that quick we're connected now I should say I'm doing this from home with a VPN connection into work so you know we're gonna have a little bit of a, of a delay here Ch uh, let's see type my very complicated password here <laughs> okay and we'll log in <clears throat> Notice it connects to the Aircom server. And of course I mistyped my password because I used the wrong username. Let me fix that. See if that works better. Okay. <laughs> Always use the right password. That's the uh, that's the takeaway from that. All right. Now these are the applications that I've published through the Ericom uh, server, and a couple of these are are applications that we use at the hospital. MRS, the GE Muse editor, and then of course very familiar to a lot of folks, LibreOffice, um, a free Office package. And I installed this on the Aircom server, which, by the way, is a 2003, Windows 2003 standard server running terminal services, and then Aircom installed on top of that. So now we've logged in. I'm going to go ahead and launch LibreOffice Calc. And then here, now remember, of course, this is over VPN so it's going to be a little bit slower. It's actually very fast uh, when you're sitting on the LAN at work. Now 
Now, what's interesting, because I'm running this for the first time, it's actually setting some things up. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and you'll see what's happened. I've set it up so that the applications uh, that I have already pre-set up would be installed, so to speak, on the desktop and within the uh, start menu. So if we go in here, notice I've got a LibreOffice and I've got the applications here. Now that's pretty slick because what it's doing is that it's incorporating it into the desktop. Remember this was a clean build of the desktop and that's why this initial time it's setting up some things within the system. Now one of the things that I did do with this installation of Ericom is enable for these applications what they call their Blaze technology. And that's what it's downloading now. The Blaze technology basically accelerates Microsoft's RDP protocol to make uh, loading the applications faster. Uh, now this is particularly important over a VPN connection like I've got uh, here and you notice blaze starts and of course because this is a fresh build it's going to say do you want me to allow access and now finally it's launching and of course I've got this uh, PC set up at 800 by 600 resolution that's why the resolution is, is <laughs> pretty bad here uh, but I had to do that in order to compress the whole screen so that you could see it during my recording here. Now notice that was the initial time that it was set up. That's why it set up all this, this stuff in the background. And now here in the uh, in the tray you'll notice we have a Net2 Printer RDP client connected. You'll also notice we have the Ericom uh, application zone running. And the application zone, you'll notice if we highlight the published applications here, the applications will appear integrated right into the uh, tray of the system, including all the LibreOffice apps. So we have it here, we have it here in the application zone, and we also have it on the desktop. So now that it's been set up, and now that we've basically got all our plugins installed and everything, if I click on it, Now remember, this is over a VPN connection. That's pretty fast for VPN. The other nice thing is, if we go to File and go to Open, here are the documents that I have in my My Documents, which has been redirected to a file share on our network. So basically, uh, I have access to network documents from home, <laughs> now remember this is running on a virtual box, virtual system on my Linux laptop across a VPN connection from work. And when you think about all the technologies involved here, this is very, very impressive. So I'm very pleased with Ericom uh, and the way the tests have been running. And of course, let me run another application here that is uh, something that we use at work, the GE Muse application. And of course I don't have an account for GE Muse, I don't normally use it, but uh, pretty impressive how quickly that came up. And um, we also have some things set up here f directly from Ericom. They have an RDP demo server and a Blaze demo server to show how they can deliver. Now this is this is really interesting because this is going to launch a desktop across the internet from the Ericom headquarters. You see how fast that came up? This is actually a VDI session from Ericom directly across their technology. And you notice all I can do here is log off. And of course, I could have run those applications. But now notice it's running on a 2008 R2 data center edition server, 
but that presented to me a terminal session on that server running from their office which they're based out of Israel they have offices in New Jersey in the United States so I don't know where that server was and really doesn't matter it could be anywhere in the world and yet I'm running a session through Aircom so very impressive technology I'm, I'm very uh, excited about it and one reason I'm excited about it is because the cost is so much less than Citrix. Nothing against Citrix. I'm a Citrix administrator at work, but this is an amazing alternative to be as inexpensive as it is comparably to Citrix. And notice as I exit the application zone, I get a message there saying that the application zone is still running. So if I were to go here and right click and go to published applications, I could still run Let's run Writer from LibreOffice, their equivalent of Word, and uh, comes right up. And of course, again, I have a very compressed view here, but uh, there is LibreOffice Writer. Those applications are coming off my server and coming across VPN and coming into this session. But pretty amazing. Just wanted to demo that for you and encourage you to check out Ericom because again the cost is so much less than Citrix. Okay this will be part two of our demo of Ericom and the reason I wanted to come back uh, to mention a few things I pointed out earlier that this uh, Net2 printer RDP client loaded automatically you saw that in the original demo the reason that I want to highlight that and talk about it for just a moment is that is an application that allows you to run a session like remember we ran our uh, LibreOffice calc session and let's say that this PC was sitting on my network and had a network printer connected I can go in here now and print uh, and when I print it will actually print to the local printer that I have connected to this PC or to this PC session now of course since I'm using VPN I'm VPN from home I don't have a printer set up to this PC but I wanted to mention that because one of the problems that you have as a Citrix administrator uh, of course is setting up printing and Citrix has done some amazing things to enable uh, the universal print driver and enable printing from whatever your default printer is within your session. Aircom has done this as well by offering two options. One is the Net2 printer software which is third-party software that they've integrated into their system and automatically install that client as you saw it do uh, earlier. Uh, or the, they have the Triceret screwdriver uh, technology is available as well. You can choose either one as an administrator and set that up. So uh, pretty impressive how they handle the printing and once again as an alternative to Citrix possibly for businesses that uh, uh, potentially couldn't afford a Citrix Zenapp Platinum license the Aircom software is a really good alternative at a much lower price point so I just wanted to mention that I had mentioned the uh, Net2 printer software earlier and I uh, just wanted to mention what it was for and, and discuss that briefly. All right, now there you see a demo of WebConnect. And I tell you, this is exciting stuff for me because uh, I believe that a lot of companies are going to be looking into these alternatives for application delivery through a virtualized environment such as this, both for VDI and for regular computers that need to have applications delivered directly to the desktop. So I wanted to show that to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember until next time, keep your head in the cloud.